Hello and welcome back to Spoilt Russian Bees. I am Juliet and you're joining me in the warehouse today where I am going to show you how to make a stretchy goddess bracelet like this one here. So I'll just take it up to the camera so you guys can take a look. It's nice and sparkly um, and it's stretchy too. So if you struggle with clasps and you just want something easy and that you can just slip on without having to worry about doing up a clasp, then it's great. They're lovely to have on your craft stool too because they're nice and easy to make and to wear and they're great for people to gift at this time of year as well. So um, do you think about popping some of those on your craft stool if you have one um, or maybe making them as stocking stuffers as well. Um, we have finished them with one of these lovely large hole beads here which is quite clever because it hides the knot in our elastic and we have used sparkly crystal rondelles and, um, and these chunky jump rings to make these lovely goddess bracelets. So I am gonna show you everything that you need to make one of these. I will pop a link on this video to our website where you'll be able to hit that link and you'll be able to take go straight through to the website and find everything that you need to make one of these goddess bracelets. Before I get started though, I will just say, do subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any of our latest uploads and our makes here at Spoil Rotten Beads. So hit that subscribe button and then we will get making. So you don't need much to make one of these um, lovely goddess bracelets. They're nice and easy to make. Um, and I'm just gonna talk you through everything that I have got on my bead mat and show you how quick and easy they are to make. So you'll need some elastic and I am using a one millimeter stretch magic elastic, which is like this one right here that we sell at Spoilt Russian Beads. It would also work with the 0.7 mil. It won't be quite as sort of stiff with the 0.7 mil, but it will also work. So, but I'm using the one mil today. You'll need some sparkly rondelles and I'm using some of our four by six millimeter Chinese crystal rondelles, which are great value and work beautifully with these jump rings, as you can see. Then you'll need some of our chunky jump rings here and I'll pop a link to um, them on the website so you can check out the size of them and, um, and uh, click through to purchase these jump rings. They come in big bulk value packs. You will need a large hole bead like the one I have got here in order to hide your final knot on your bracelet. And you'll need some zap gel glue um, in order to glue that final knot as well. So I have started off by cutting myself um, a decent sort of 40 centimeter length of my elastic because we're going to double up the elastic to make this bracelet and I like to work with a bit more elastic than I actually need because I just find it's easier than trying to fiddle around with a short bit. First things first is to take um, the two ends of your elastic together and thread on a bead onto one end of the elastic and then take that bead down so that it sits in the middle of your um, of your elastic like so. Oh, I think you might have heard that. That was uh, Mandy packing your orders in the stock room. I think she just sneezed. So I hope she's not coming down with a cold. Right, so I've threaded on my um, my jump, my um, crystal rondelle, and now I am going to um, thread on one of my jump rings. And I've popped both ends of my elastic together there, and I'm threading both ends of my elastic through that jump ring. So you'll end up with something that looks like this. It was all kind of pingy at the moment because it's elastic. Okay, and then you want to take a look at your elastic and sort of decide which piece comes out of the bead and in this case this bit comes out of the bead and this bit is going around the outside of the bead. So what I'm going to do now is thread a crystal rondelle onto that one and then once more pop both ends of my elastic together so the, the elastic goes around the outside of the bead like so but because it's elastic you don't really notice it um, and you do want to try and keep both ends of your elastic approximately the same length. So pop them together if they're not. And then thread on another jump ring. So both ends of my elastic are going through that jump ring now. And I'll take it down and 
it will look like that. And you can see it's starting to create that kind of pattern that you get with these goddess bracelets. Then you take the end of elastic that isn't coming out of the bead. So um, in that case, it's this one here for me, this one right here. Um, and thread on another bead. And then once more, pop both ends of your thread together, your elastic, I keep calling it thread, I'm so used to beading, and thread on another jump ring. So the jump ring always goes, um, always goes with both ends of the elastic on it, and the bead only ever has one end of elastic on it. So now, again, I'm gonna take the piece of elastic that isn't coming out of a bead and thread on a bead pop my elastic together and thread both ends through another jump ring there and take it down. So you can see how that's building now. Let you guys take a look at that. Um, so I'm just gonna continue now, continue adding beads and jump rings until my bracelet is, is long enough that it's going to be able to stretch over the widest part of my hand and um, I've probably got sort of a small to average size um, hand um, well no not small actually I'd say my hands are pretty average size and not small definitely not small because my hands are quite wide across here um, and you can see there's my bracelet here and let's count shall we how many have I used I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three so I have used thirty three um, of my rondelles and that fits nicely onto my wrist. So I'm just going to continue now adding rondelles and jump rings until I've reached that 33, that magic number. Um, and I'm going to come back to you and show you guys how to finish off these um, lovely stretchy goddess bracelets here. So keep going until you have threaded on all your beads. Um, so I've got 33 of my crystal rondelles and it will look something like this. And you can see how there's some gaps here. So now before I go any further, I'm just gonna shuffle everything down up against that last bead and make sure that it's nice and tight. And as you do this, you can also just check that you've got all your beads on in the right way as well. And it's all looking nice and pretty so keep threading on the keep um tightening it all up you don't want kind of any stretch in it but you just don't you just want to close up some of those gaps there really and then you want to finish off with a ring the large whole bead and another ring like so and then what you do is you take both ends of your your um, elastic and bring them up towards that very first bead there and you want to just hook down in between the first bead and the first ring, just catching that bit of elastic that goes over the top of the bead there. I'm just gonna, and if you can't quite do it, you could just use a pair of tweezers or a pair of pliers just to, tuck your tuck your wire not your wire I keep calling it wire it's elastic Juliet keep if it doesn't work one way go the other way you can just pull the beads apart ever so slightly I will get my fingers out of the way in a moment and so you guys can actually see what I've done here um, it's just tricky while I'm trying to do it on camera so bear with me but all I'm doing is just trying to hook my tail of elastic under there. There we go, now I've done it. Right, let me take that up to the camera so you guys can see. So I've hooked my working bit of elastic underneath the elastic that goes around the top of the bead there, and it goes then it goes into the jump ring. So 
I've just hooked that around like so and I'm going to do it with the other end as well It'll probably be easier this time now I've got one in there she says yeah there we go so I've got both pieces of my elastic now going under there that you guys see yeah and I'm making sure it's all pulled nice and tight there aren't any gaps there that I'm not happy about um, and now I'm going to go back through that jump ring with both ends of my elastic and pull okay and what I need to do now is to tie a knot and fit so I'm gonna I'm just opening it out so you guys can see what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna take my elastic over the top and underneath through that loop there and as I pull that's creating a knot around itself but I want to make sure it's nice and tight so before I tighten that knot I'm just gonna shuffle everything down and make sure that it's all nice and tight so that's my knot now and it's nice and nice and tight there there's my knot and I want to finish off that knot by adding a little dab of my zap gel glue to that knot. Try not to get it onto the beads and the jump rings and just leave that now to dry. So we're just gonna leave that glue there to dry. And when it's dry, I will use my um, side cutters here um, just to trim off these tails of um, elastic. And then I can use either my, my round nose pliers or my tweezers just to push that knot inside this large hole bead there and it will then sit inside the large hole bead and you won't see that knot anymore so um that's how you make one of these lovely stretchy goddess bracelets i do hope you have enjoyed watching this video tutorial do subscribe to our channel before you go and um, check out the other lovely videos that we have got waiting for you on our channel and click through to the website where you'll find everything that you need to make yourself one as well Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.